What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Friday, December 31st edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays presented by No House Advantage. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can find me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. As a reminder, all new users to No House Advantage receive a $25 deposit bonus using the code AWESOMO. Today, we're going to take a look at five of the top tournament options on DraftKings. Keep in mind, there's a lot of moving pieces. We have a lot of players in health and safety protocols. Some of them may be coming back. Some more may be added. The Miami Heat game is certainly at risk of postponement again, so we'll have to keep an eye out there as well. But assuming that game plays, taking an early look at five of the top options on DraftKings. Number five, Clint Capella, $8,300 center. He's projected for 11% ownership with a 12% chance of being in the optimal lineup. He has about a 25% rebounding percentage without John Collins on the floor since the start of last season. He played 30 minutes in three quarters last game. It's likely against a big Cleveland front court that you get mid-30s from Clint Capella tonight. It's always difficult to prioritize mid-range centers because typically you have very good value options. Typically you have strong payup options as well. But Capella certainly has 50-plus fantasy point upside at relatively low ownership. Number four, Laurie Markinen, $6,000 with small forward and power forward eligibility. He's projected for 11% ownership, 16% chance of being in the optimal lineup. He had about a 22.5% usage rate last night playing without Rubio, Garland, and Sexton. That'll be the case again tonight, although Cleveland is returning Jared Allen. He's probable to play. That certainly could cut into Laurie Markinen's rebounding production, but Markinen didn't project to be a great rebounding option alongside Kevin Love and Evan Mobley anyway, so I'm not too concerned there. The biggest issue with Markinen, and this goes back to his Chicago Bulls days, is that he's never really been that assertive, even when he has the opportunity to play a bigger role offensively. We saw that again last night where Kevin Love had a 32% usage rate. Evan Mobley had a 32% usage rate. Markinen was only at about 22.5%. But all of that being said, there are still plenty of minutes and plenty of usage available for Markinen. Even if him being the one to step up and take on a lot of that usage isn't the most likely scenario, it's certainly still within, well within his range of outcomes, and he's not projected for that much ownership. Number three, Kevin Pango sticking with the Cleveland Cavaliers. He played about 24 and a half minutes last night, most likely would have played a little bit more had the game been competitive to the end. He was disappointing from a fantasy standpoint, but he's still only $3,500 on DraftKings. He's projected for 11% ownership with a 16% chance of being in the optimal lineup. What really stands out from last night was that he did lead the Cavaliers with 12 potential assists in only 24 and a half minutes. The next highest player on the team was Evan Mobley with six in 32.1 minutes. So Pangos clearly uh, was doing a lot in terms of being a playmaker. He's close to minimum salary. He certainly, you know, if he shoots a little bit better, could very easily pay off that, that salary. Number two, assuming that his game goes, Caleb Martin is only $4,300 on DraftKings in a fantastic matchup against the Houston Rockets. He has a 37% ownership projection, 41% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Shooting guard and sm small forward eligibility makes it easy to roster him on DraftKings regardless of where else you're going in your lineup. He's averaged about 0.9 DraftKings points per minute without Kyle Lowry or... Uh, Bam Adebayo on the floor this season. He's going to need to play a ton of minutes if this game goes, as Miami is extremely shorthanded. And number one, also on the Miami Heat, Tyler Hero projected for 31% ownership with a 45% chance of being in the optimal lineup. He's $7,200 with point guard and shooting guard eligibility. He like Caleb Martin, has a fantastic matchup against Houston. And I assume if this game goes, that it means Jimmy Butler is probably back. But you're still going to get tons and tons of usage and a lot of playing time for Tyler Hero. It's just going to be difficult for him to fail at this price in this matchup. So to recap, the top five tournament options on DraftKings, number five, Clint Capella. Number four, Laurie Markinen. Number three, Kevin Pangos. Number two, uh, Caleb Martin. And number one, Tyler Hero.